With the release of eVault 7, one of the newest management features is the eVault portal. This short tutorial will walk you through a quick overview of its capabilities. The eVault portal is an easy to use web portal that lets you manage the health of your entire eVault backup environment from your data centers to your remote offices. You can use it to manage, monitor, and get the reports that you need to make decisions about your eVault environment. It also provides you a real-time dashboard. This dashboard gives you a current snapshot of what's going on in your environment so you can take action. One of the biggest benefits of the portal that helps make it so effective is that it combines eVault backup tools with a social management platform. Think of it as sort of a Facebook for your IT team. So now you can connect and collaborate real-time with other members of your team to get things done smarter and more efficiently, such as troubleshooting system issues or coordinating infrastructure changes. The portal also lets you plug directly into the global eVault user community and support organization. You can research issues and explore different ways other customers are using eVault capabilities to protect their business systems and data. The computers page is really the main page where you're going to perform all your backup and configuration functions, things like uh, running backups and restores, scheduling jobs and getting uh, setting retention policies, uh, or configuring eVault agents, uh, connecting to vaults, things like that. So let me show you just how easy it is to actually perform a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this computer uh, that I have called config 1101 VM0. Let me just kick off and, and run this backup by, by clicking backup. I'm going to go with the defaults here. So I go ahead and kick off the backup. Um, the process details window comes up. I can close this window and come back to it at any time. Or if it's a long running job, I, I can choose to stop it. Um, so now this, this backup is actually complete. And uh, it's, uh, it's denoted by uh, a green light. Another useful page, the monitor page, gives you kind of a high level uh, view of the jobs that are running in your eVault infrastructure and what their statuses are. You can take and actually drill down into the status uh, statuses on those and view the log files for those backups and restores in a handy easy to use calendar interface like this. So I click on the log file I want to view. Uh, what's nice about this is the log files actually have the error codes in them uh, hyperlinked so that if you hover the, over those, it actually tells you if there's knowledge base articles that pertain. If I go ahead and click on that now, you'll see that the those knowledge base articles appear. And I can click on those again, and in the lower pane, uh, the, the the knowledge base article actually appears, and I can read and see if it if it's uh, what I'm looking for. So it just kind of provides a, a handy interface for you to search your log files and see if there's knowledge base articles that might help. The last thing I'd like to give you an overview of is the reports page. The reports page lets you access common reports like backup details and usage summary reports. Each report has a default view that looks, lets me look at tabular data for that report. I can customize and filter this report and save it for future use if I want. Um, here I have a couple that I've, I've actually saved uh, for the backup details report. I can also take and export these reports to common formats like CSV, Excel, or PDF. I can choose to schedule an email report if I'd like to. I can add and remove columns from reports or change the date range if I'd like. You can access the portal from any laptop, desktop computer, tablet, or smartphone device all securely through an SSL connection. All you need is any web browser such as IE, Firefox, Safari, or Chrome, and your eVault WebCC login credentials. Be sure to watch for more videos that drill down into further detail into the capabilities that we've just touched upon. Thanks for watching this overview of the eVault portal.